Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're going to be doing some further weapon testing with new weapons. Now what you can see here is a broadside by two ships. We've got the red ship and the blue ship facing off side by side in quite an unrealistic scenario. But you can actually see the sort of damage that these large ship rockets can do when they fired in bulk against each other. Now you're probably going to argue that this is quite an 18th century sort of technology of broadsiding. But you can just see how the missiles are impacting each other and then little bubbles are caused when two missiles from both ships are actually hitting themselves themselves head on and it looks absolutely amazing as the rockets are flying out each of ships these parts coming off these explosions these fighters trying to fly by and you can imagine a, a larger battle maybe between even just two ships with fighters going past and things trying to blow each other up everyone on their own little missions just how amazing that will be obviously early stages is going to cause quite a lot of lag it's going to be quite tough to actually do something like this on the server side at the moment you can just see the stream of rockets the absolute destruction coming from the blue ship into the red ship and as the red ship's trying to return fire the rockets coming out of their pods are contacting the ones coming from the blue ship and it's causing absolute destruction even though it is at a quite a low frame rate it's still quite awesome now moving on We've got these new automated miniguns, and a question that I had as soon as they came out, what sort of effect will they have on fighters? Now, they're pretty good at engaging slow moving targets, but if you have quite a fast fighter, they tend to miss. And this is very effective for being in a fighter because if you turn, you fly quite erratically, they find it very hard to hit you. And you can see from some of the maneuvers that these guys are doing here that they're really struggling to get hit by the turrets, even though they're really annoying and they're actually hitting them every now and then. They're not doing enough damage to severely cripple their little fighter and they can simply maneuver around it. Now you can see as he's heading straight on against that turret that he's actually took his cockpit out and he's actually managed to float off there. So they can be quite dangerous if you're not careful. And you can see another fighter there trying to use the ship, fly as close as possible so the guns are actually struggling to fire on that target. But it is a very nice how they've done it. You can see here our pilot's doing a nice sort of circle strafing pattern around the tank trying to engage that machine gun. But they're just so hard to hit. Now, if we move on a little bit, we have a fighter, and you can see that green lock turn into a red lock, so that means that the machine guns are beginning to fire. And you can see that the missile, well, not the missiles, but the machine gun fire is coming directly behind the sort of craft. It's only when you get to a certain closer sort of perspective that it becomes accurate. So it's a very good deterrent for pirates and other things at a distance because they necessarily won't destroy it, but they'll send them running. Tell you the truth you can see here as my engines are starting to smoke and parts are starting to chip off as they actually start to n nail into my armor and take out them key elements such as my engines and so on anyway let's move on now the next question i had was how effective would they be against torpedoes like launched like we've been launching and testing in the past and now these are extremely dangerous i mean the torpedoes can't even get close so the thing is you're probably asking as well is why is there them little decoy cubes on the torpedoes well when the factions get implemented each little block will be assigned to that faction once you've built it so it'll be like having a decoy and since this is an enemy sort of block it'll be automatically locked on and shot at if it's been well programmed into the little turret from inside so you can just see how they're nailing them they won't even let them turrets get as close to do any damage now we move on to large ship 19 missile rocket pods now these things are badass the problem is though you tend to ram people trying to, trying to get an accurate shot it's very hard now this is sage ship sage ship went with more of a heavy armor design a bulky sort of ship and he had this really nice interior cockpit and he went with um i think it was four rocket pods on each wing and then tazu went with sort of a civilian transport with a light rocket sort of set up and they both worked extremely well and the machine guns from the other ship when they locked on didn't do too much damage now there's a final test that i wanted to show you now you can see how there's two layers the deep the decoy block is on the layer behind and it can't actually be seen by the turret now as you can see it can see a very narrow little passage so if i just cut this one block away and it's able to get a sight on it it'll use that little one block gap now the decoy block is affects whatever it actually touches so as you can see if i touch it on this block even though it can't actually see the decoy it's still going to fire through that panel because it can actually see that plate so if i do this here now what i want to test out here is what it'll target if they're all at the same distance away from it and you can see what it does it jumps between the little targets doing equal damage to them all and it's very nice very effective even though all them targets are at the same distance so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs> 